What up YouTube, Mr. Mac here. Welcome back to the Mac Shack for another FM Friday. We are back here with Lynx FC and it has been the complete opposite of a train wreck, let me tell you. Uh, if you can check out the match preview screen here, we are currently in second, about to take on Lincoln Red Imps, who are in first. So let's have a look at how we got there. Well, we last left you with the game against Manchester 62 FC, which we won 3 0. Uh, we took a friendly against Gibraltar um, Regiment because we had a couple of weeks there between games and we won that 4-0 with Val Devia scoring twice there. Uh, then we had a game against Mons Caupe and we, we went up early. Uh, we went two goals up in the 73rd minute through Badia and then uh, conceded a late one to Ronco, but we still managed to get the win 2-1. Uh, to one. Then two weeks after that, we took on Magpies and Voldivia was back to his best, scoring two goals there for us as we got the win. You'll see Voldivia scored again here against Glasses United in our 2-0 win. Jaden Parody, uh, Jaden Parody also getting on the score sheet there in the 94th minute in front of a thousand fans at home. So we are doing quite well in terms of the home attendance for the National League games. Now this one here was a tail and a half. I tell you what, Europa Point, we went up, uh, we went down 1-0 in the ninth minute. Valdivia scored in the 16th minute to equalize for us and things were looking grim. We gave up a penalty with 10 minutes to play, but Bradley Bender managed to save it for us, keeping our hopes alive and saving, again, a number of, of clear-cut chances. I think I should be able to show uh, some stats here. Yeah, so Europa Point had two clear-cut chances to our one, one half chance to our three, and uh, we certainly, Bender, Bender earned his pay here as we went through. Then we had Jaden Parody scoring in the 86th and in the 93rd minute. Uh, yeah, there's the missed penalty, 77, uh, to give us the 3-1 win. So that means that we are sitting second here on goal difference to Lincoln Red Imps. Uh, at the, well, we are pretty much the halfway point here of the first half of the Gibraltar National League season. So just a quick reminder for you, um, the season works in two ways. We have our first stage. I just need to find the rules for you. This is probably better. We play the National League here. And then at the halfway point in the season, the league splits into two. So after 11 games, we play each other, everyone once. We split into two. And then we have uh, the group one, which is the top half, playing against each other twice each uh, for those U UEFA uh, positions. So hopefully... We can get into the top six, and we can get enough uh, enough points there to get into the top three or four, uh, and and then look at getting into the Europa League next season. So, look, we're gonna go with a little bit of a different lineup today. We haven't played this formation before. We are trying a four four one one sort of defensive counter attacking formation because Lincoln Red Imps are so strong. I am a little bit concerned that this may be our first loss of the season. If we get the win, it's going to be absolutely incredible. If we don't get the win, it's going to be it's going to be okay, really, because we've <laughs> we've set records now for the team for the most consecutive wins. Um, I'm going to say I know we're the underdogs here, but let's go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. We've got an interview in the tunnel. Both teams come in in good form. How do you rate your chances? Look, they're a very good team. We're going to relish the challenge of keeping our good form going while putting a dent in their aspirations. What's the thinking behind a sudden change in tactical style? Uh, I think it's proactive to... Yeah. I think it's proactive to be doing this right now. Lolo Sobra is on a fairly lengthy run. Without conceding a goal, can your team end that? I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't end well for us. That's definitely what I would say. Chucky's set to make his 100th league appearance. Yep, he's... Look, 
I hope he marks the occasion with a top performance. So we are in the black and gold of Lynx playing against the red and black of Lincoln Red Imps. And through 10 minutes... Ooh, we're not quite there yet. Parody. Ooh, Parody getting absolutely hacked. Chipolina could be done, and he is. Okay. Well, this changes things. Um, red card to Chipolina. Rasquina with the corner, headed by Valdivia just over the bar. Oh, my goodness. If we had a picked up something there... Um, this could be the smash and grab that we're looking for. I mean, it's not a super important stage of the season just yet, but if we can get something here, if we can get points here even, I know we're at home, but if we can get points here against the top team in the league, that's not good. That's really not good. Oh, we can't be giving up shots like that. Right. Yep. No, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna go to our four four two. We're gonna go to our positive. We're gonna demand more. And I think I may need to just jump in here. Everything looks okay there actually, so we're fine. Alright. So that's not really what we wanted to see uh, when we're a man up. Just a terrible pass there on the left wing, um, getting caught in possession, and then, uh, like, we've got to be doing better than that, really. Um, that's that's too easy. So, everyone is focused after the feedback. We've made the switch now. Um, all right, well, let's, let's continue to try and get some set pieces. That was too close. For comfort, we might close down Kike, like is being suggested to us. Um, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Right. Can we do something here now with Valdivia? He's got acres of space out there. Plays in Chucky in his 100th game. Chucky gets the... Not much of a cross there, really, is it? Okay. Um, yep, sure. Let's go short passing as well because that's worked for us previously. Ah, that's a beautiful ball to Valdivia. And it's not quite going to work for us. I'd love to get this cross in here from Rasquina. I know he's taken a knock, but if he can get a good cross in or power, someone. Victory! Ooh. I think that was on target too. Goodness me, alright. So we are we are certainly making them earn this at the moment. Um, putting him under. Where's Rasquina at? Now he's coming good, he's coming good. I think he's going to be okay. Alright, this is... Oh, okay, that was close, that was close. We're okay. 42 minutes in. We need to be doing better than this, boys. I think I just clicked him on more as we went into half time. I mean, really... Five shots each. Th we've had three shots on target to their two. Uh, eight fouls to ten, so we're doing better there. 44% possession, so not too bad. I reckon if we go... Um, in the scheme of things, it is a disappointing performance. And I'm not happy with the defensive work. The midfield, I think, can still improve. And the final third can definitely still improve as well. So... I'm thinking we may have a substitute on Gonzalez here because uh, he's not really doing much for us. We'll see how we go. I didn't get that shout off in time. So we're going to go cautious now. Just sit back a little bit, try and draw him onto us and then um, make our move on the break. I don't want anyone getting sent off. But what I... This is a good position here. Good cross. Oh, we've done it. We've equalised Chucky in his 100th game. And get up and about, you good thing. Valdivia making the brilliant decision to flick on the ball with his head here, just like that, nods it down for him, and Chucky hits it on the volley, gets the keeper going the other way. That is exactly what we need. But we need more of it. 
All right, let's have a look at, at the squad here. I think we're going to we're gonna put Hernandez up front and get Resquina out of there uh, for Badia, because Badia's come... No, no. No, we're going to put Parity in, because Jaden Parity, as opposed to Javan Parity, both the Jay Parities are playing on the same wing now. Uh, Jaden Parity has scored some great goals for us in his time, and I think... We're also going to bring Bernardo in. He doesn't have much match fitness, but Gonzalez isn't doing too much for us right now. So I think we're going to do that. Um, and we're just going to see what happens here. We're focused after the feedback. Be fit, and they're uninterested after the feedback. Okay, let's, let's get some more direct attempts going forwards here. Let's go attacking for the last few minutes. Demand some more. Let's even go very attacking now. All right, injury time. This, ooh, okay. No, we're okay, we'll get this back. Yeah, now get that pass off. Well done, Salas, Bernardo. Cross to Parity. Parity can't get the cross in though. Can we get the ball back? That is nice. Good touch there. Bernardo going to play the ball straight to the other team. But again, power gets on it before it gets out of our half. And again, power gets on it before it goes out of our half. Parity now with the ball on the wing. He's going to step past his man, cross it in. Here we go. Ooh, that was close. Gonzalez from way outside the box. That was close. That was close. I think, honestly, we deserve that draw. Um, when you look at the stats, when you look at two clear-cut chances to none, one half chance to none, five shots on target to five, like we certainly equaled one of the best teams in the league here, and we um, are the first team to take points off of them. So this is, in reality, this is a fantastic performance. And I'm really going to get behind the boys for that because they've, they've done a spectacular job to not lose. Um, and that really means with that draw, mm, Rasquina injured one to two days. That's not too bad. Bernardo makes his uh, professional debut. Fantastic. We are seven matches without a loss in a row. Let's, let's pump the boys up. Chucky, I don't think you can overestimate his influence. Yeah, Chucky was brilliant today. Um... It is important that we remain focused, take things one game at a time. Yep, their confidence is a good thing. Um, and there's there's a resolve about these players. Sean got Gonzalez, he'll have better games. So I've picked up a few extra players here and there just to cover for injuries and different things. Kike was good. Um, yeah, look, he, he certainly, yeah, it was that goal. It was an impressive goal. I'm not a fan of it, but it was impressive. Why have you adopted this tactical approach? Mm. Yeah, we're about winning. It's going to play as an attacking midfielder. Probably not something... Yeah, I don't want to have to rely on him playing as an attacking midfielder, really. All right. So, yeah, best game. 1,200 fans as well. So that's going to be some good... Uh, Good money there for us. And, and Max saying the run can continue. Um, and hopefully it does. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a put a cut in here. Uh, and we're going to go through these three games here within the National League. So um, St. Joseph's, Gibraltar and Boca Juniors. We're going to come back um, either for the Rock Cup second round game. Or for the College Europa game on the 8th of February. So... Um, yeah, this, this College Europa game will be the last game before the league split. So we will see how we go with that one. Um, I will be back with you very soon. All right, we are back. And as you can see, it is the 8th of February. It is game day here. Lynx FC versus College Europa. Now, we didn't have the best of luck since our last uh, we last checked in, so we had that one all draw against Lincoln Red Ebbs. Then we took on St. Joseph's FC, and Val Valdivia got us up 2-0 uh, early in the second half. Unfortunately, as you can see there, um, 
Cipollina and Domingo scored in the 72nd and the 91st minute. And it was a two-all draw there away from home. Uh, again in December, another two-all draw after being up 2-0, this time against Gibraltar Lions. And December was not a good month for us. We hemorrhaged money, um, two away games, nothing, nothing at home. It wasn't pleasant. Uh, it wasn't fun getting those two-all draws either. Now, the month of January is traditionally a shutdown month for Gibraltarian football. Uh, we managed to squeeze in one friendly uh, on the 25th of January. We got a 3-0 win there against Mias. Uh, and then we have taken that momentum into games against Boca Juniors, where we had three goal scorers in a 3-1 win. And then against College Europa, where Chucky scored a brace. And Rasquina scored in the 22nd minute. Now, Rasquina was going to be one of the guys that we built our team around and we built our future around. And I say was going to be because he has agreed to a transfer, which is just brutal. He will not be a Lynx FC player for much longer, having agreed to move to Este, however you pronounce that, at the end of his contract. Now, I saw that he was discussing this and he was, he was having talks with these clubs, and I went to re-sign him, I went to offer him a new contract, and he's like, look, I'm not against uh, discussing a contract in principle, but right now I think it'll, I'd be better off letting my deal run down. And I was like, okay, no worries. And then he signed for someone else. And I was like, that's pretty rude. That's pretty rude. So we are here. Uh, Second versus third, College Europa have had one loss to Lincoln Red Imps. We haven't lost yet. This is the last game of the first part of the season. So uh, after this game, we're all going to be able to see how the league split looks. Um, but it seems to be pretty much decided here with Boca Juniors, Mons Cafe, St. Joseph's, us, College Europa and Lincoln Red Imps guaranteed the top six spots. And then the bottom six being Magpies, Lions, Europa Point, Manchester 62, Glasses, and College 75. So it's certainly going to be a trickier second half of the season than first half of the season, that's for sure. Now, uh, in terms of our squad, I think we're pretty much going to go in with this group because we've got decent uh, stamina here. Chucky is someone that we'll have to look out for. But we've got players that can come in on the left wing, uh, Vinay being one of those, and we can also swap parity across, move Rasquina, uh, Hernandez is injured, in fact, for two to five weeks, we'll see how we go, anyway, let's put the team in, and really, we are, um, look, we're hoping for the best, they're, they're unbeaten in their last seven games, I'm convinced we can end that run. So let's, let's tell the boys that we have faith in them and let's get ready to go down to the tunnel. Your team ranks considerably low in the possession table while College Europa are right up the top. These stats mean nothing in isolation. Their run has them in first in the form table. Uh, everyone's a good team. We're third in the form table. I want to keep it going. Wampe has provided plenty of assists. Um... Well, we're definitely going to pay him close attention and we will see how we go. We can't drop any lower than third. It would be lovely to have played everyone in the league and gone through undefeated. Why are we on attacking? Oh my goodness. This is not a good way to start. Um, I feel like... Oh wait, that's us. We're, we're at that end. That was, a, that was almost a clear-cut chance for us. Well, I was like, hmm. Uh, oh, ooh. Uh, come on, don't... Good, good, okay. Your MA's header goes over the bar. We're okay. We're still in this. It's 10 minutes in. We're talking about still being in this. Right, let's let's make that change. Close him down. All right, let's see how we go here. Salas, Avalano in the middle. Sprays the ball out to Chucky on the wing. Chucky crosses in on his left boot. Straight to the defense, but we do manage to get it back. Gonzalez goes straight into the head of... Ethan Jolly, I believe. And uh, Yome brings it back the other way. Jinx around Gonzalez, but Bender makes a good save. Okay. Another chance dealt with there. 
We are yet to have a shot on target. Which concerns me. I'd like to see some more from you, please, lads. Um, the press conference in the lead-up was talking about how good Bouty was going to be here, and apparently he's been quite error-prone today, so I'm not really a fan of that. Um, but at this stage, we're pushing him back. Andre Grandi is bringing the ball out of his box there. Big bomb down the field. And Velasco bringing it up. Yome back to Velasco. Out to Perez. And we managed to clear it for now. Mogensen scores his first ever goal for College Europa. Um, I don't know if there was much we could have done about this, really. Power gets the header. Yome swings it in. It just bounces... And somehow he has the capabilities to react to that off of a huge deflection. Um, why don't we tick it up to cautious um, and we'll see if we can make some moves here. Yeah, we'll close down Yome as well. Okay. We're going to tell him it was disappointing because... And I, I do expect to see a better showing of them in the second half, really. Like, it's our last first half of the season game here. We need to be doing better than this. Mostly motivated. Bouty is furious about something. All right. Let's let's uh, let's look at what our sub options are. So, we really need to get Parity and Chucky out of there. So, I guess we go Beta and Vinay. And then we need to get rid of one of either Gonzalez or Bounty. And I think we take... Salas is pretty low on condition. Bounty's really frustrated. I reckon we put um, parity in for Bounty here. And we go with that. <clears throat> now, I'm throwing a lot at it here. Uh... And we're going to tick up to positive. We're going to say, show some passion, lads. Come on, get fired up. That's it. That's what we want to see. 20 minutes to go now. Um, 15 minutes to go now. Here we go. Free kick. Vinay curls it in. And claimed by Grandi there. Andre Grandi gets his hands on it. Huge bomb down the field. Only as far as parity, who turns it straight back. But we can't do anything with it there. Okay, so not much of a highlight so far. Parody again just playing one twos with Andre Grandi in goals there for uh, College Europa. Gonzalez out to. Here we go. Oh! Valdivia should have done better with that chance there after the cross was curved in from Beta. Look, we're going to go for it here. We're in injury time. We may as well give it a crack here. We've actually given a pretty good account of ourselves, really. The only team with any sort of chance. Uh, we had two half chances, five shots on target. Look, we did get... We did get beaten in most of the stats. But really, we didn't play all that badly. I thought we could have maybe got a point there, but that's okay. Uh, third, place is, third place is fine for now. I can't fault you for your effort. Yeah. Look, we worked really hard. We probably should have got that. Um, we lose after 10 games in a row. That's okay. We're... It's going to happen. We're going to lose games here. We're not going to be undefeated all the time. We worked extremely hard. If we continue to do that, the... Uh, yeah, look, it's disappointing to lose. I saw a lot of positives. One of the best. I've got fantastic players with quality in every area. Yes, that's exactly what it is. All right, let's have a look at how the rest of the day plays out. Magpies go up 2-1 over College 75. I'm happy with the effort, yep. Are you confident that Sean Gonzalez can find his form? Look, I can only hope things get better because 
he's still apparently not found his form yet, so maybe I'll have to have a chat with him. Let's have a look at uh, Mr. Gonzalez here. Where are we? Shawnee, Shawnee, Shawnee. Shawnee Gonzalez here. Your average rating is 6.38. Uh, let's just criticize your recent form, mate. Let's say, let's say, yeah, despite our title challenge, despite our recent overperformance, I've expected more of you. We're not really overperforming, look. Um, I feel like this isn't quite, hasn't quite worked the way that I thought it was going to. So, I'll just say, oh, we actually got out of that fairly nicely, really. But yeah, I can only hope that he does get better. Um, Mons Kiape manager's been sacked after losing to Manchester 62. Jeez, that's rough. They're in fifth. And Lincoln Reddings, imps as expected, get the win there, and they go through undefeated through the first part of the season. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Um, we've got a Rock Cup quarterfinal coming up, but I want to see this National League Group 1 group. Oh, it's pretty much as simple as that. Glasses United lose to St. Joseph's FC, and then we have the big line drawn through the middle. Uh, yep, that's that. Post-match analysis. Anything that I don't already know, Sean Gonzalez didn't play well. Hmm. Amazing. As the first Gibraltar National League stage draws to a close, the league is now ready to split in two. The top six will fight for the title and continental competition places, and the bottom six will battle against relegation. Teams in opposing sections will play no further matches and can no longer overtake each other in the table. The biggest surprise for many has been Boca Juniors, who have seen them grab sixth place. Mons Calpe, uh fixture has been rearranged to the 11th of March, and from the 16th of March... Uh, to the 4th of April. Okay, so we're going to play them within like two days of each other. You can see here, I think this is our revised schedule, yeah. Um, so we're playing them in the Rock Cup and in the league, and that's why we we're going to be playing them so close together. Yeah, so we've got Lincoln, then Boca Juniors, Mons Cafe, College Europa, Mons Cafe, because we'll play each of the teams twice. Uh, so, if we have a look at what that's going to look like for us here in our schedule as we scroll down. So we have Mons Cafe, St. Joseph's, Lincoln Red Imps, Boca Junior, Mons Cafe, College Europa, and then Mons Cafe and the Rock Cup, St. Joseph's, Boca Juniors, Lincoln, College. Oh, that is a rough finish there. I tell you what. Uh, probably the top two teams back to back in the last two games, but. We're in with a real chance here. The next thing, yeah, that was the next thing I was going to be unsure of. The All the points and everything get reset. So we've met the board expectation of finishing in the top half, which is great. Now we need to push on with that. And what we really want to do is make sure, is make sure that we finish in the top four from this top half because I don't know if these points mean anything now. Either way, we're only three points clear of St. Joseph's, but we're 10 points clear of Mons Kiape, so we should have a good chance to make Europe here. Um, ideally, that's our goal for the end of this season, is to get to Europe. So I think we're going to wrap it up there. Um, let's... I'll probably play f through the first couple of months here. Um, how about we come back for... These two games are within a week of each other. So we'll come back for the Rock Cup quarterfinal against Mons Cowpay. And then we will stay for the game against St. Joseph's FC. And we'll have a look at where we're sitting in the league uh, and make a decision about where we go from there. So thank you very much for joining me for another FM Friday. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment or a like if you have. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you soon.